because the facts are there, go on the internet to www.ickley and you have a look. And boy oh boy, you will be surprised. Even I was. So, um, there is an international board of ICLEI. This is pertaining to your Canadian uh, level of ICLEI. Um, so it's, it has all of its palaver up there. So uh, ICLEI members are also represented on the global governance structure and the North American Regional Executive. So you've got the international, you've got the North American level, and then under that, then you have your Canadian, I'll use the word charter, for want of a better word. Um, and they all have representation on ICLEI's executive level. So you have four uh, board members of ICLEI, Mark Bronston from Edmonton, Linda Harvey from Calgary, uh, Rob Kerr from Guelph. Did I pronounce that right that time? Yeah. Well, yes, you did. Good. I'm learning. <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> then we have Megan Leach from? Ecalibur. Yeah. Um, and then you have uh, Amanda uh, Petra Hayes from Vancouver. So that's that's the they make up the board of the Canadian level of ICLEI. So what is ICLEI? It's a, an international organisation. Now can I say I have not altered these in any way, shape or form. This is exactly what is on their website. This is not my impression of what ICLEI is. This is ICLEI telling us what they are. So they're an international organisation, industry, sustainable development, internationally? No. Local level. They were founded in 1990 in New York at the headquarters of the UN. Their headquarters is in Bonn, Germany. They have approximately 200 employees worldwide, which is not a lot for a, a big organisation. Um, their slogan, local actions move the world. Where do you think your local regulations are coming from now? Uh, and the website www. Write it down. Yeah. There's a an Irish um, comedian who will tell you some really funny jokes. Well, if we've got time, I'll tell you one. Uh, and and his catch cry is, "That's a good one. Write it down." <laughs> uh, yeah. So www.iclei.org. And make sure you've got at least two hours, maybe even more, because you will be absolutely, well, disappointed, really, but enthralled in what you're going to find. Uh, I'll skip over that. Uh, so that's the, the um, where they're using your your uh, nation's icon. To advertise themselves. First thing that I got here was Bickley Agenda 21. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see that that started with Marie Strong. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Now the membership of Ickley, Do you realise that your land taxes that you are paying here are actually what is uh, financing this entity. If your um, 
local town, your council, uh, your municipality is, is part of this, you're paying for it. They now have on their site, um, am I allowed to say lying arseholes? Or lying AHs. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying that there are 1,200 cities, towns, uh, entities are uh, actually signed up to ICLEI. Before they pulled their original website, they had 8,000, in excess of 8,000. And they are right around the world. Uh, so, in order for local governments and, asso and, it's, and associations, they don't, it can be an environmental group, can be part of ICLEI and get Ickley's backing, believe you me. Uh, so, uh, government and associations of local governments, uh, full members pay yearly dues based on gross national uh, product, and that is, uh, des that is determined not by Canada, but by the World Bank. And then, uh, so then they take the numerical number, say if it's a municipality, the, muner uh, the number of people living in the municipality and then apply their formula to it. And there's the fees. They're quite modest if you're, you know, only 30,000. It's only 430 euro, which is about thousand dollars. But if you've got 8,000 groups putting that amount of money in, you're going to end up with quite a whack of dough. And I'm not talking about bread. Well maybe, yeah, we use bread. Uh, the highest, and this would be the likes of Toronto, would be paying uh, 5,985 euro. So Toronto, and Toronto is a member of ICLEI, they are paying $10,000 of the, the residents of Toronto's land tax to this group. And the kicker is that on top of that, you pay a 10% um, uh, admin fee. Uh, yeah, an admin fee. Yes. But those are like, that's peanuts compared to the policies that they'll put in place. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, and exactly for what? Now, if if the ten thousand Canadian for Toronto isn't for the administration of Italy, well, what's the you know where's it going? What's the ten percent for? <coughs> I I only captured uh, three of these. Uh, the first one is the European leaders in the green building sector announcing the worldwide awards. So this is what they do, they get in and award these entities for introducing uh, green um, conditions. The second one uh, is inviting the stakeholders to uh, participate in a webinar. So, at no cost to them. So that's indicating that normally they do charge for it. And then, uh, again, um, public authorities invited to help shape the green electricity um, <coughs> criteria. So they're actually taking all of these people uh, and you imagine the cost involved with them uh, say flying to, to Bonn or, or wherever the, the actual workshops are, it, it would be literally tens of millions of dollars uh, just going into travel expenses. So that's Italy. Please have a look at it. Along with another entity called the ICC. 
That's the International Code Council. So I'd suggest that you write, that's another good one, write it down. So ICC, International Code Council. That's the entity that actually develops all the codes that you're having implemented on you in your local area. And that there, I think there's um, 48 booklets in it. And say your, um, your county was going to purchase one single copy of those for all of your municipalities to, uh, to administer, it's 900 US dollars. And it covers everything. So have a look at the ICC, International Code Council. And again, you'll want a couple of hours. This is the Liverpool Cities Forum. Uh, so that's Ickley, uh, Canada, in partnership with the City of Calgary and the Canadian Water Resource Association. That was held between the 27th and the 30th of this year, 2015. Did anyone know that was going on? No. no. That's just a, a blurb that was put out by a reporter that was at that conference. I, I won't leave it up. I'm going to... Um, have I given you a copy yet? No. Nope. Of these? Okay. Has anyone got a, a USB stick? Please, somebody put your hand up. Yes. Good. Good. Right. Good. So, uh, would you mind making that available? Uh, Not at all. Yeah. So then, at some other time, when you've got more time, <coughs> and also when you've done a little bit of your own uh, investigation, maybe somebody might like to take it on for the group. Go through uh, and see how far you can follow it through. I tried a couple of times just to get one of the cheaper codes from the ICC, International Code Council, <coughs> Because, and I wanted to try and download it so that then I could go to your um, even your provincial regulations and I'm not a betting man but I'm willing to bet uh, you know, a, a brick to London that it will be just a copy and paste job because they're lazy AH's <laughs> and uh, they'll just be copying what the international council put out. This one, um, the landmark climate statement signed in Ontario. Want to have a guess who signed that? Nope. Her Christian name is Catherine. She was the first. Chairman <laughs> Hang on, I must have skipped two there. Yeah, it was Kathleen Wynn. Mm. Your Premier was the first person to sign it. And she has committed <coughs> your province, right, to uh, recognise carbon pricing. Uh, and sure, it, it will always have some touchy feely bits attached to it. So dig and find out what they really want to do. That's what it is. Um, yeah. Does anyone uh, know uh, where the carbon trading um, facility is in America? Well, Ontario. No, no. Stewardship Ontario, isn't it? No, no. It, it's um, and I'm having an old timers. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you afterwards anyhow, but more interesting, any, anyone willing to have a bet with me uh, that they can't name who is one of the directors? Who have we been talking about? Maurice Strong. Maurice Strong. This guy who is... George Soros. Yeah, and Al Gore. 
Maurice Strong and Al Gore, uh, directors of the uh, trading uh, facility. It's not Chicago, but it's something like that. Uh, so this is just a, a simple and short explanation of how the United Nations Agenda 21 Sustainable Development has slowly been taking over America. And this is a gentleman who wrote this piece. They, they have a light rail facility that, that there is no facility where it starts and there is no uh, town centre where it ends and that has been developed uh, purely by Agenda 21 and the reference in there to uh, DART that's a, a, an offshoot of uh, their state's environmental transport uh, issue. But the reason I put it up was down the bottom uh, he asked the question why build such a system you know from nowhere to nowhere um, and the answer is this is where agenda 21 slash ICLE uh, becomes relevant because the thrust of agenda 21 